Hi, I'm Jim Vossen. Join me Wednesday afternoons at 1 o'clock for the Seaside Sand City Television Show here on KYMB, Comcast Cable Channel 19, and over the air at 27.1. Brought to you in part by the Seaside Sand City Chamber of Commerce. That's Wednesday afternoons at 1 o'clock for the Seaside Sand City Television Show. The 2013 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. <laughs> Ron's been my engineer for a couple of years now, and I tell you, you would think, give him two weeks off, yeah. and, and, and he's, you know, oh, he's going to school now, CSUMB. He hasn't dropped out of that one yet. Uh, welcome, welcome back to the Seaside Sand City Television Show here on KYMB Comcast Channel 19. Ah, and over the air at 27.1 in the Fresno area, 33.4. I'm Jim Vossen, Viaz Victor OSSN. And this young lady here is the owner of the Seaside Yoga Sanctuary, Laura McKinnon. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Nice to Thank see you. you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Thank you. I was a little worried, but you, you got here. I you, got here. You did? I okay. Sure did. So uh, let's, let's start off. The, you, you have this Seaside Yoga Sanctuary. Correct. Now you also have one in Pacific Grove. That is correct. What's that called? Seaside Yoga Sanctuary, Pacific yeah. Grove. A Pacific Grove. Okay. <laughs> had, 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 you, had you thought about calling it Pacific Grove Yoga Sanctuary, well, or is there already somebody with that name? So, Should... um, no. No. But, so, but here's what happened. What happened? When I opened Seaside Yoga Sanctuary, uh, I did not have a vision of having more than one studio location. Oh. So that, that, that followed, that came later. I see. Um, as well as the, the third. I didn't expect for that <laughs> one to come either. Um, and then, and then, rather than try to create well, they didn't just come by themselves. You must have well, planned something. But go anyway. Go ahead, yeah. I mean, if you want okay, to know the story, okay. you can ask. No, but, no. but, but more to well, the I point. Well, I probably will. Um, yeah. More no. to the point. Yes. It, it just made more sense rather than trying to create a new studio name for each location. That yeah. it's, it's all Seaside Yoga Sanctuary. We just okay. have different studio locations, so we okay. designate them by city names. So, so the one, cities. so one is uh, in Salinas. Now it's called it's yeah. called the Seaside Yoga Sanctuary in Salinas. Salinas. So generally, okay. if you're speaking to a okay. student who That's goes there, they'll say, "Oh, the Salinas Studio, I the see. PG Studio, okay, or Seaside." Okay. Yeah. That's right. And, and Seaside's a nice name. It is. Kind of a you know. Yeah. Well, and even Pacific Grove, they're still by the sea. Yeah, they are. Yeah, see? yeah. So. See. Okay. <laughs> so now, uh, now, where are you at in, in, in Salinas now? Uh, in Salinas, we're in the Star Market Center. Star Market Center. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the only thing oh, there's that a McDonald's there, isn't it? There is a McDonald's okay, there. Okay, good. So, but that's a good marker point because the McDonald's that sits on that corner, yes. there's Plaza Circle. That It's a little road that runs down on that side of the Star Market Center as opposed to the Blanco Road side. And that's where our entrance oh. to the studio is. On which side? On the McDonald's side. Plaza mm. Circle. Yeah. Our address is 44 Plaza Circle. Yeah. So we say Star Market Center to give you an anchor point. Yeah, but if you're, um, on, if you're on, like, Main Street, which, is that right, South Main? Right, if you're on Main Street, you can't see our storefront. Oh. Our door is on the side of the building, so you have okay. to come down Plaza Circle to see our Plaza door. Plaza Circle. Yeah. Well, there's uh, uh, an organization over there called TAMC, Transportation Agency from Monterey oh. County. Okay. They're... There's like a, um, let, me, let me try to think of it. You go down Blanco, and right. you're going towards Highway 101, mm -hmm. you're more, more mm -hmm. east, okay? And you go down to where you could kind of turn around or down there. There's a street that's in the back of the yes. shopping center. Is that the circle? Uh, are you, you, no. But no, that's no, not. But, but that's one way you could get to it, One too. way, yeah, okay. Yeah, because there's a bunch of businesses back there oh, okay. as well. There's a veterinarian oh. office. And, I, I, yeah. I, okay, so, okay. Yeah. I, you actually, if you were going down uh, South Main, you would go. You, you'd go. Huh? Sorry. Go ahead. I'm following South you. Yep. And if you go past McDonald's, isn't there a little right turn that you want yes. to take? That's, That's where you would go to get to our studio. Bingo. You got it. Bingo. You named after Bing Crosby. Did you know that? That they game. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> okay. That's Rich's fault. Uh, anyway, um, you know, Bing Crosby used to hang hang around here a lot. I've heard that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So anyway, now now what's is this? Uh, Size-wise, is this the same size as the others, or bigger or um, smaller? Yeah. Or what? Um, the Pacific Grove Studio is going to be our smallest location, meaning student-wise, we can accommodate about 15. 15 at we, one time? At one time. Yeah. Uh, the other two spaces are large enough where we could get into about 35 or so students. I see. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Now, what you do, if I'm not mistaken, you have some different instructors? I do. I do. Okay. 
Yeah. Is it now? Is this is this? And this is you, you can say I don't want to answer these questions. Is this similar to like let's say a, a hairdresser who has a beauty shop and they have they have different people? Are, are these people like independent of you? The yes, uh, well, but they 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 contract with they're, you. They're yeah, they're independent contractors, but they don't. Yeah. Like a lot of hair salons, the the stylists will rent their space and then they right. rent their own clientele. Right, 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 right. Um, the studio pays the instructors. Okay. Um, we make it that way too, so that I, I kind of look at offering things on the customer side, the student yeah. side. So meaning, as a student, if you get a pass, say I buy five class pass, yeah. you can use that class pass any studio location okay. with any instructor with any class it doesn't so, matter so um, now do you have do your instructors go to the different places at times or some the, do yeah some do. so okay. all of my teachers yes. they do take classes with each other so we we learn all from of each our other. Te teach oh take, so all of the so all the teachers take I classes teach, and then i have over 30 other instructors that are okay. part of the studio I see. um so you will see other teachers going into other teachers classes mm. taking the classes with them alongside do the they students. need the pass too? No. They 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 get a free pass. Okay, they get a free pass. A free pass. All right. I, I guess. All right. Now, uh, so I was as I was driving up here, I was thinking to myself, she I don't you know, my wife d does yoga. Mm -hmm. She now she hasn't. She keeps on telling me, she says, "Oh, I, mean, I keep on forgetting to go." She yeah, was going to the Sunday class, studio, the sun, you know. And so I need to get it back into that, or she needs to then give me peace of mind. Well, it was hard during football season. You know, but you find football season a little harder, or maybe the maybe are most of your students women? Uh, no, we have a lot of male students. But I mean, but, but not what's all men a watch football either? Or they might. They, DR but they're not. Then they're not men, the are game. they? They're not men, are they? At that, I don't okay. know. I mean, <laughs> at football season, it's a season. Yeah. Um, and we have plenty of other classes outside of the scheduled football okay. games. Okay. Because right. my my wife's actually a big football fan. She likes watching football. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Um, Sometimes I actually see more students because um, the women are like, "Oh, thank goodness, I don't have to sit home and watch." This that's game. that's I'll, what I was I'll saying. Come in and do some that's yoga. what I was saying. Okay. <laughs> so now, when I think of yoga, I think of. Okay, why do people do it? It's not like is it more for the body or more for the mind or or what? It's for all of it, and I would oh. say it's up to really the individual student what pieces of it they decide to apply the practice. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's something I'd be losing weight at or anything. Absolutely, you could. Huh? Yeah, but you just well, so first you, of you, all, you just gotta lay there, and don't mm, you? You know, here's the thing. Even okay, let's start with the laying there. The yoga for relaxation, the stress reduction, um, that can very much feed into the mental stress in our bodies. However, yeah. there's a physical manifestation of stress in our bodies as well. Well, yeah, some of the stuff I my mean, wife, wife asked me to do, it hurts like TV. heck. Well, that, but you, no, you just have to watch TV and how many commercials aren't there about the cortisol hormone, the cortisol hormone, take this pill, you lose the weight because of yeah. the cortisol, right? It is a stress the, uh, because hormone. Because of the what? Cortisol. Cortisol. It is a stress hormone that becomes elevated in the body in times mm. of stress. Um, and in times of stress, the body will undergo this kind of flight fight response. The adrenal system is kicked in, mm. all the sense organs are heightened and other sense organs diminish. So meaning in a flight fight response mode, you don't need the aid of your digestive system. You're either needing to flee, right, or to fight. So digestion's gonna get suppressed and other things. And in a normal healthy body, in a normal healthy system, yeah. when the crisis has passed, the stress hormone level goes back to normal. The systems go back to normal. But what happens with a lot of people, and I say a lot because I'm going to dare say the majority of people, no. we get into this chronic state of stress where it's almost like the internal body can't really decipher is this a true crisis or not. We're just so constantly stressed out all the time. We call it stress residue that's built up in the body, meaning the cortisol levels are so elevated, they never come down. The other systems in our body like digestion. So even if you eat a very well-balanced diet, mm -hmm. lots of vegetables, lots of fruit, if you're chronically stressed, your body cannot properly digest and absorb the nutrients mm -hmm. that you're even eating. Oh, okay. So in Not that good. instance, yes. the stress reduction in terms of the yoga for relaxation, the slowing down, the calming down, addressing the adrenal systems and others, this is where <coughs> people can start to lose weight because the stress hormone level starts to come down because that's what will <coughs> inhibit often people from losing oh, you got water i've got water i just want okay to okay so so there's that um and well i was just thinking well, well as you were saying that sure. i was thinking to myself of something that um 
sometimes, like, like, let's say I have a lazy Saturday, you know, and I decide I'm just going to watch movies and lay and, go, you know, sleep or something like that. I have found that even though I'm not out exercising when I sleep, I've actually lost weight. And I tell you, where did it go? How did, you know, how did... So maybe for you, you were doing things that were relaxing to you. So so that can change things. In Absolutely. Your, but, oh, and it, then there is the physical side of it. I mean, there there are so many forms and styles of yoga. I not mean, that you can you, sleep all day and lose all that weight. No. No. But but I mean, you can get completely incredibly intense in the physical mm. part of the practice where you're you're sweating. You know, the cardio, yeah. vascular system is you know the heart rate's going. Um, there's 90 and even 100 minute long classes. So, so there is the the side of yoga where you can certainly offer the body an incredible physical challenge. I mean, if you think about, um, it's weight bearing. You're using your own body weight. You're supporting your own body weight. So you're building muscular yeah. strength. Yeah. which can feed into a better metabolic rate in the system of the body. And then um, you're also promoting strength, flexi I'm sorry, flexibility, range of motion, mm -hmm. supporting joints. Now, my, my, I've actually l have lost a couple of pounds lately. I Actually, about, oh, quite a few months ago, I had uh, the flu. Okay. And I lost a whole bunch of weight. Okay, so I, I lost, you know. Then you get, get it back a little bit, but I've actually, I'm down from what I've been, I'm staying there. Kind of go up one pound, then I come back, and, but I'm down there. But, but I, I've learned some things about the weight and such. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's been battling something where she just can't g get this rid of these one, two pounds. She'll get down and it goes back up. But she's been drinking that. She'll buy some of those chocolate-flavored things at Costco or whatever, those, all, all that's, you know. Okay. And I just, are those any good for you? Is that something that you really, I mean, what's, what's that do? Seems like a lot of it's sugar. Probably is. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what she's yeah. drinking. Uh, uh, know, yeah, but whatever flip those. Flip over the label and take a look at it. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, I'll I'll add too that there's an element of awareness, mindfulness that begins to become more readily available to you. Meaning, I, I see so often, especially people who've not done yoga before, um, mm -hmm. they're coming in in the first class. It's 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 um, whoa. I'm, I'm reconnecting back to my own physical body because mm. we always live up here. We have all these things to do in our day and we have to go from here to here to here that we don't always take the time to really be in our bodies. You know, no, we might know like, oh, I woke up and my, my back hurts today and my back's oh, bugging me. Yeah. Right. When our when our body's unhappy with us, it'll start to send us those those alarming messages. But my point is when you step onto the mat and you start really paying attention to your body mechanics, how you move. We all mm. have habits, patterns of movement, ways that we move in our bodies. So that starts there on the gross physical, the outer layer of the body, but slowly over time it starts to shift into more subtle other ways. So maybe you start being more mindful about what you eat, more mindful yeah. about what you drink, rather than it being this, oh, I need to lose weight, I need to be on a diet, whatever, it just all of a sudden you're paying more attention to things. You're paying more attention to, am I eating this because I'm stressed out? Well, you know, that, that's you the know. thing, too, because um, there is a lot of that is in the mind of stuff. I know, um, was it yesterday, I, I'm doing some moving, uh, moving stuff, you know, and I just, I didn't, I realized I didn't even have lunch, but I was doing something that I was feeling good about. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, you know, positive moves, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm not really hungry. But when things, you know, when, when you're a little depressed, you want to go and eat. Well, you know, you know or it's comforting into the systems of the body. Sugar, yeah. sugar is literally addicting into the body. Get those hostess snowballs, man. <laughs> those can really make me smile. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, you know, so I don't want to say that yoga itself directly causes you to lose weight, but um, but a lot of people just inherently do when they begin yoga. It just, it just happens. <clears throat> okay, so going back to the, the question, yeah. the one about... Um, because you, you said both when I said, is it more for your mind or for your body? And uh, I'm getting from this is that it seems like it's more for your mind that then for the body benefits from. And I, is, I would say that's true. Um, a lot of people might come in because of the physical need. Mm -hmm. I have a bad back. I have a bad knee. Yeah. Or someone told me it's good for stress. Or my doctor said I well, should Well, I never yoga. heard of that before about that you might have a bad back or knee. What, what, what can yoga do for that? I, it's incredible physical therapy. Really? And this is what I mean about there's so many ways of practicing yoga that you can very much take the more therapeutic approach. Um, I have so many students 
who are middle-aged, chronic back conditions, whether it's hmm. bulging discs, pinched nerves, you know, all, all sorts well, of things. That pinched nerve thing, that's, know. A, that's, a, that's a weird one, I huh? I know. But they've done regular yeah. physical therapy, and they'll come in and do one, two yoga classes and hmm. entirely feel different immediately. And, and but so, do, they, do they come and say that I'm having this one problem somewhere yes. and they do a, a different thing for them? Absolutely. Okay. Like, for instance, so, I have, I have, I've had this thing for a while. We're on, on my uh, right leg on the side. Walking fine during the day is fine. But I'll, at home, I get into bed and I'll lay down. And all of a sudden, oh, what is that? And I, and I have to turn over on the other side. And even sometimes that doesn't help mm -hmm. me. And then I, I find uh, if I lay on my back in a certain way, it's, uh, it's better. Um, then it'll go away when I go to sleep. But, you know, is that, what can I do with that? A lot. A lot? Come see us. No, but what you just said, it's why I have so many instructors. It's why I have so many different types of classes. Because there might be someone who has had two hip replacements, oh. both, both, right? Or, yeah. or I have the pinched nerve in my back. There are going to be postures that will be contraindicative. Postures that Contra what? contraindicative, meaning that pose you should not do because it's going to harm you more than it's that going word to meant, help you. Yeah, so now word. you know. So it's going to hurt you more than it'll help you. And you need to, understanding the body condition that you're in, implement the postures that will help you. So we do have the gentle, more therapeutic classes. We do have. Um, you know, yoga for relaxation if someone's coming in just to address more of the mental body mm -hmm. and then the physical body always benefits. The mind can't become still if the body doesn't know how to be now, still. Now, I'm going I'm to back up a little bit because, you know, in the morning show, the old morning show, I used to always go back and talk about where you came from and such. And a lot of people may first time seeing you on, you know, daytime yeah. in the afternoon. Perhaps. So we're, 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 um, you worked at the, at the aquarium for a while, I, if I remember. I, I did. I spent 10 years of my life working with marine mammals. And marine mammals. Mm -hmm. And did you, did you ever swim with the porpoises or anything like that? You, um, you went into water I, one time? I have done water work with dolphins, bottlenose dolphins, yes. Okay. Uh, a couple times with a harbor seal. Never in the water with sea lions, though. Oh, never. Okay. Yeah. Are they dangerous? They can be. Oh. Do we have, does this aquarium have turtles? Do they have any of those sea they turtles? Do. They do, in the outer bay wing. Yeah. Do they, are they, are those are mammals? Turtles? Yeah, they have to come up and breathe, they right? Do, yes. Okay, so they, otherwise they're in trouble, right? But they can go down for a long time, right? They can. They can. They can. And there's some of those that travel, like you know, across the Pacific Ocean. They do travel very far. It's, a, it's amazing. The gray whales, all their migrations. Yeah. Yeah. Great whites do the same thing too. You've been, you've been watching the Olympics? A little bit. A yeah. little bit. They're on too late for me. How about those? Um, what you know, the the snowboarders. That's a new thing, right? This, uh, this time, some of I think. It, yes. Yeah. Some of it, yes. Yeah. yeah. Some of those people that. You know, yeah. squirrel all over the place. Yeah. Would you ever think of doing that? You ever, you ever done stuff a like that? A little scary for me. I'm afraid of heights. Oh. Um, but you know, I like watching the ice skating. Ice skating. And I, yeah. I really appreciate that there's some of those skaters, oh, the flexibility, the range of motion that they have. It's incredible. Oh, uh, like the figure skating, the ones that the do the skaters. jumps and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. 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 I was yeah. watching the race, the racing last, last night, I think, or something like that. And in all honesty, I was watching it. It didn't seem like they're going that fast, but I guess they, I guess they were. I mean, I just you try lacing up those skates and getting out there. <clears throat> well, I, I was yeah. a roller skater for many years. Okay, but I uh, know, and I uh, that's different but, than ice skating. Well, it's not as cold. Yeah, <laughs> you get wood burns. I guess you get wood burns on ice too, huh? If you slid down, you know, you used to if you slide on the wood, it gives you something. But anyway, no, I just. Um, uh, some some of that Olympic stuff is yeah like when they do the triples jumps and stuff. Mm -hmm. It is interesting, huh? You know, so here's my and they land. <laughs> they, they do. They land. So here's my premise. Yes. My uh, the the body is a fascinating thing. Oh well, yeah. And it's well, an amazing thing. And I I I don't know what happens when we grow from childhood into adolescence and then into adults. We have this mental condition of, oh, I get older, so everything goes to heck in a handbasket. Meaning, well, I'm 50. Of course my back hurts. Of course my knee hurts. It's just, mm. for some reason, assumed that as we get older, we're going to lose some of the functionality of our body. And I'm not dismissing that the body does mm. age. But what I am here to propagate is that um, should we choose to become more aware and understanding our own anatomy and our own bodies and take care of our bodies, that a lot of 
illnesses that we see, chronic conditions, pain conditions, I think a lot of them could be greatly lessened. We just go, oh, my back hurts, so I'll just take this medication for it, and then I just do that for the rest of my life. Now, have you, you ever gone to a chiropractor? Or do you, do you do I have that? a couple times. Yeah? I have a couple okay. times, yeah. Because um, I was going for a while with this one little problem. I was, I was, I don't know, my hand was getting a little tingly at times. Now, I have diabetes type 2, but it's under control, so I'm, okay. I'm way good with that. But um, I don't know if it's, because people get that, what's that thing, uh, that when you're using the keypad a lot. Tunnel. That one, mm -hmm. yeah, that, you know, mm -hmm. all this work. Um, I don't know if it's from that. I like to play uh, solitaire on the computer a lot. That's my that's my wake up morning thing, you know. So, um, all right. So, Seaside Yoga Sanctuary. You have three locations. We do. One in Seaside, and that's the Seaside uh, Yoga Sanctuary in Seaside. Yes. And that's where. That's on 1360 Fremont Boulevard. 1360 Fremont Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of doors up from the uh, what what do you call that center? The Peace Center. We're right next door to the Peace right Center. Next door We're in the same building. Yeah. Same yeah. building. Yeah. Uh, Turtle Bay is kind of a block cat a corner from us, so okay. we're kind of in that little neck of All side. Right. All right. Now, now Pacific Grove Pacific was number Grove. two. We're the back side of Chautauqua Hall. So our door, backside, yes. we have our own space in Chautauqua Hall, corner of 17th and Central Avenue. 17th and Central Avenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, are there, are, are, you have one number for all places? We do. It's 899 Yoga. 899 um, Yoga. We always have ongoing specials for new students. We have three free classes every week. So one in each studio location every week. The classes are always oh. free to the community. Are they the same time or do they um, vary? They vary. So Fridays in Seaside, 4 o'clock, and it's more of an adaptive class. So meaning if you have some sort of a limitation in your physical body, mm. that's a great class for you to come to because we will adapt to modify the practice to support what you need. Fridays in Salinas at 12.30. Also, that class will be a little more gentle. And then Sundays at 5. It's an all-levels kind of full-spectrum oh. class, but we'll still modify side. for you. Five uh, Salinas on, sorry. Oh. Pacific you're, Grove. You're going to get confused on this. I, I know. Because is it Sunday? Kay. Is Sunday is what time? Sunday is at 5 in Pacific Grove. Oh, what every about? Every Sunday at 5. What about in Seaside? Seaside every Friday at 4. Oh, the, all those kind of classes, but I mean those are the free ones. The free ones. And then other classes, we're open every single day of the week, so Monday through Sunday. Now, do you have? A, do, I don't know if you had this. Do you have a website that shows all the things? SeasideYogaSanctuary.com. You'll okay. find our events calendar, our schedule right. of classes online. We have things for kids, for toddlers, right. for adults, everyone. Yeah, you don't have the uh, free cheeseburger on Tuesday nights type. Of, no, 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 no. Yeah. But you know, we've won. Through the Monterey County Weekly Readers, oh. Best Yoga Studio, the last three years in a row. Oh. We'd love to have another, so please vote. You ever had your, Eric Cushman? He's like the public, uh, er, he's the editor. Yes. Did he come I into the studio? just saw him studio? yesterday. Oh, did you? Oh, did you come in? Uh, not to the studio. I was at the Weekly. Oh, you were at the Weekly? I okay. Was. So, so I thought maybe uh, yeah. he came in or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Although actually, some of the weekly people do come do yeah, yoga. Yeah, my wife's us, boss, uh, he, he comes to mm -hmm. your yoga thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Well, not uh, the, not, not the in, Bill Gates. He's in my class. He's in your class. Well, Every Tuesday, Thursday morning. I don't think there's anybody in your class. And he's had hip surgery. He's had hip surgery. Yeah, is, yeah. <laughs> I literally tried to take every excuse. Was it, was it, that out wasn't of the after book. he started coming to you. That was no. no I, I saw oh, him before and I after. See. Okay. And after, but he'll tell you. He'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, he's been doing far better coming back to yoga after. Now, now he's he's obviously he's a little younger than I am, of course. I, I believe I would say so. And now he has he's had problem with the hips where I don't see. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't have mm -hmm. problems. Mm -hmm. So it, it varies with a lot of people, right? It does, of course, yeah. of course. Thank you. For You're coming. Welcome. Was this, was this painless? Me. You'll come back sometime? Pretty painless, of course. Okay. Thank All you. right. We are going to, uh, Ron, do you have this straight right now? <laughs> you really have it straight. I do, yeah. 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 Boy, I tell you. So, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll be back with uh, Rich Glenn. Uh, we're we're going to talk about Seaside, and we'll be in just a moment. Don't go away.